Hello everybody, my name is Deku Games, and welcome to Amnesia the Bunker. I know, an Amnesia game in 2023. It's kind of crazy. I thought Amnesia was basically a dead series. Like, I thought it was over after The Descent and then the recent game that came out. I thought it was over. But I'm glad to see that the classic horror game is back. Now, I've never played Amnesia, but I watched a lot of Amnesia growing up, and it was a fundamental part of one of the reasons of actually why I wanted to become a YouTuber, because I saw people playing horror games, and I was like, damn, that's really cool. I want to do that. And here I am, in 2023, playing Amnesia for the first time on my channel. I wonder if I'll be able to get scared enough that I'll be able to make one of those funny montages and it'll explode my channel. <laughs> okay, I have no idea about this game. I think it might be kind of like a pseudo reboot, I feel, because like the way that the monster looks. Horror, horror experience, we're dying as a part of the thrill. It's vital to adapt, use caution. Stress of death. Hard, craving an intense nightmare, be ready for an unforgiving cut. Look, as much as I want to go on hard. Mmm. Fuck it. Okay, yeah, we're doing it. 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 Yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing it. Whoo! Okay. I know, lights are on. It's like in the middle of the day and I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing amnesia. When I'm not, I'm supposed to be scared and supposed to be dark. But I don't usually get scared of horror games or like horror movies. I like watching horror movies and horror games because of like the emotion and the f like the fear of the characters on the inside. And a lot of times the lore of horror stuff is way cooler than the lore of other things. But yeah, I, I don't know. I hope this turns out good. I do. I hope this turns out good. Barbed wire. Are we in like it's set in the World War One uh bunker. I remember reading that on the Steam page. But man. Man oh man. Oh, you wanna be funny? Is if I titled titled this like one of those old YouTube videos where like it's like Amnesia the Bunker, part one. Or like funny moments, scary montage. Uh <laughs> I don't know. That'd be kinda cool. That'd be cool to do, but I don't know if that would get a lot of people are drawn to it because there's a lot of people that still do that and they haven't like really caught up to the times of of like titling videos in like creative ways so i don't know i don't know i don't know is that one of those pool lights down the corner where you pull it and it like lights up that's cool i wonder i don't oh man just thinking about what this game will be like it's kind of just exciting. It's exciting. Because I've never played an Amnesia game. I remember watching, like, people complain about the pig machine or whatever back in the day. <laughs> to survive this world, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, the good goddamn sense to whatever is necessary. I can teach you the first. The second is up to you. Romian Delpi. General de Brigade. Uh. Fourth Army of the Republic. French. Okay. Oh. In the trench! Go! In the trench! Oh God! Where am I? Follow the trench. I got follow the trench. I'm only 16 years old. The propaganda it got me into this war in the first place. Oh, I'm fucked. Come on! Come on! Tin can, you are with me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ooh. This environment looks really good. Oh, open it up physically with the mouse movement. Can't pick up the helmet. Put it on my head. Oh, fuck. R to check the bullets I have. Okay, cool. 
Oh, is that floating? Oh, okay. Minecraft! Okay. Who knew war would be hell? I thought it was just gonna be cool edits and montages. Oh, what? I can throw it? Hold on. Ah. Ah. Holy shit! I'm so strong! Space puzzle. I'm playing a source game, guys. Oh, is this the horror game? The horrors of hell. Oh fuck. The horrors of hell. That's what the game is about. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. There's somebody there. Still there? Okay. I'm hit! I'm hit! What's up here? Oh. Nothing. It's a barren unity landscape. I've been injured. Tab to see how bad it is. Ooh. Looks like I've been grazed. item they can use for crafting. Pick up the claw piece and press tab. Oh. Can I add that? Ooh, okay. Cool. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. Hold on. Oh, do I have to go under? I go under. Okay. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That was not taught to send boot camp! Wait, hold on. I wonder. Can I... Okay. I was going to see if I can, like, with the gun pointed upwards, if I could... Fucking grenades? Hello? Yes? No monster's gonna stand up to me. Uh... Okay, I know exactly what I gotta do. Run! Yeah! This looks like a Nagant pistol. Pretty sure a Webley, maybe? Old school gun, that's all I know. Uh, old school gun. Oh shit, okay. Oh shit, I reload. Hello? Okay, there we go, we're back. Uh the game crashed. I don't know why, but it crashed. I figured out how to load. I really like the immersive reloading. I just really like the vibe of all of this. There hasn't really been any good horror, like, World War games at all. Oh, that's an explosive barrel. Like, it's usually just, like, action games, right? Despite the fact that it was hell, it was horror in real life. It was... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Okay, okay, okay. Make it out of this hell together. Ooh, I really like, I, I know quite a bit about real world history and shit, 
And it's so cool to see like how accurate that they went into some of the shit with the uh with like World War One. Beat that roll, my friend. Very, very cool. Fate's a bastard. I'm on patrol tonight then. C'est la vie. 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 Looks like we're out in no man's land. Let's see. That is not how that works, but that's okay. Oh, that fuck. That means if I shoot and it's just like click. What's that? Very atmospheric. I love it. And then adding in the supernatural aspect of a monster. Oh, oh, come on. That's so good. That's so good. Like, recently, there has been a bit of a trend, like, where telling war stories is more horrific. Because, obviously, with the, uh... What's it called? Like, All Quiet on the Western Front? Because that's a very... I haven't watched it yet, but... Very horrific telling of war, which I really like. It's a big-ass crater. It remind, that reminds me of the war story from, I think it was World War One, Where, uh... <laughs> They were pushing back against the German blockade in France, going to get you out and there was an explosion that was so loud and so destructive that it was the biggest man-made explosion up until the invention of the atomic bomb. <laughs> it caused like a crater that was kilometers wide or something like that, which is nuts. And in that moment, they could have won the war there because it just dropped the morale of everybody so quickly. This sucks. Oh my god. I feel so bad for this kid. I know. You saw the stuff too. Fight! Fight! We want you, right? He tricked me too. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh! Just stay still, stay still, stay still, stop breathing. That's cool that they also have the accurate, uh, the flare there, because, uh, flares back then weren't, like, bright red. They were, you were now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. So if I adapt correctly. Uh. Oh, where am I? Oh fuck, am I in a POW camp? Or bunker or prison? I don't think it would be camp because uh, there was some in World War One. Press and hold T to rotate object. So like this, and then oh, cool. I guess I, I wonder if that can be used later on. Progress saved. Ah. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of a look. Tab. Okay, Sora Clement, admitted to medical treatment following event of 9 July. Personal effects, held in the storage locker, patient remains in a weak coma state, will respond to stimuli but only for brief periods of time. When last roused, he reported no memory of recent events and had trouble recalling even his own name, most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. Will continue to monitor if status does not improve in a week's time, 
Recommended transfer to St. Antony for neurological test. Signed, Dr. Josniski. Cool. Can I save my progress here on the typewriter? Do I need ribbons? I make a lot of deep cut references in my video and I have no idea if people like to catch them or not. Hello? The locker, wait, locker. Uh, is there a locker in here? No, okay, never mind. It's fucking dark. It's fucking dark. Ooh. Ah. Hello? Oh! Uh, use a wedge, not it's a broom, it's too weak. Uh, mm, 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 mm. That's, uh, that's, that's not how that works. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just, I'm just gonna, gonna leave that. Is there a brick nearby, like anywhere? I wanna see if I can charge it up and fucking hurl it. What is this? Oh, this is a bed roll yeah uh will you cut it out okay uh <laughs> Oh man! That was, that was, uh, that was not, that was not kickback at all. Why did I stop? Why did I freeze there? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, so the monster is an experiment. I'll have to shoot that lock later. Let's see if I can find anything to, uh, like real sturdy. Ooh, there we go. Kettle? I'm gonna throw it really, really hard at those sets of chains. There's a door there. I didn't even go through that door. Okay, that did not work. Ooh, wait, log, log, log. My, my. Ooh, hello. Let's see about this. 14 July, 1916, body, body of Sergeant Raynard. Multiple lacerations, chest cavity torn to shreds, every rib cracked, skull cracked open by repeated blunt force trauma. Who could have done this to them? Ah, uh, soldiers, duh. Have you ever heard of a trench club? That shit. Oh. Lovely. Ooh, a battery, or a jerry can. Hmm, I got wither bones. Oh, the wither skull. Got a some of the wither. Okay. Should not be fucking stip stomping around so hard. Hmm. Let's go through here. There's a lot of fucking holes. Is that where the monster goes? Is someone there? 
Who? Ori. Ori. I thought I was the last one. We're trapped down here. Hey. The rat fucking officers ran and blew the exit behind them. You're kind of fucked up, bro. Just a little. You want to? I'm mean, gonna give me some light. You need to blow it back with me. There's dynamite in the arsenal. Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere in the excavation site. Get them, and you can make it out. Oh, shit. That thing it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. I want to die in the hands of a border soldier, not that monster. There's ammo in the pantry. Get it. Do the job, please. Yeah, no problem. Oh fuck. Uh, like this, and then like this, and then... Tense ass music, okay. Load one. Trick shot. Okay, what's going on? Put one in there. I'm just gonna leave that in there for later. Uh, you know, just y you, you, uh. You you never know, honestly. Like, yeah, you um, hmm. yeah, you never know. Like, honestly, I just might have to kill myself later. Okay, right through the fucking rock. Damn. Tragic. Remember Six Siege! Oh, you can't get me, you can't get me, you can't get me, you can't get me, you can't get me! You can't get me. <laughs> oh, you can't get me, you can't get me, you can't get me! <laughs> right. Uh. <laughs> Oh shit, okay. Oh shit, am I in a safe room? Oh fuck. What? Oh, that's so sick. Oh, sick. Oh, fuck. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Baptiste. Baptiste. Shield. Heavy, heavy fucking uh, Resident Evil vibes right now. Update to all medical mortuary assistant or personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They are swarming every dead body. They even coming, they're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it is burnt. So a new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I have spoken to the father, to Father De Rene, Ray. 
about this matter. He will provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for the families. This is not ideal as it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming, so burn them we must. Ammo. No. Fuck. Okay. Use this box for storing things from your inventory. Okay. I have a feeling that, like, eventually in the game, like, this safe spot will be invaded by the monster, like, at the very end of the game or some shit. What's down here? Uh oh. You can power the generator by filling with fuel, pulling the lever. What's that? Those are the pocket watch. Okay. More fuel. Is that it? Did I use both of them? I did. Okay. And then... Play some music for me, please. Oh shit, seriously? Okay. Mark. So Wait, can I climb through here? I can fit through there. Wait, I wonder. Puzzle game, remember? Puzzles! Okay. 
I just got lost really bad. Okay, progress saved. Uh... Zero seven five zero. Okay. Zero seven five zero. Here we go. Uh yeah, I think we're going to leave this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh, this is really, really good so far. Like, incredibly good. Oh, there's there's the uh, trigger, and then... Okay, cool. So, perfect. We now know what to do for the next episode. We're going to get right into the action in the next episode. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are of Amnesia the Bunker down there. Keep it spoiler free, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of spoilers anywhere because it is a horror game, not very story driven. But yeah, why down there? Click subscribe and to be notified of every single time that I upload a future episode of Amnesia The Bunker! Hit the bell. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.